Welcome to the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. Good morning and welcome to the Ordinary Daily version of the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. My name is Scott. I'll be your host today. Uh, March 19th, 131 days for from Lake Placid. Uh, it is my birthday. Imagine that, March 19th. Uh, of course, you, you're, if you ever forget on your birthday when you wake up these days um, that it is indeed your birthday, Facebook is sure to remind you with the half dozen or so messages from, from people you haven't heard from uh, by 6 a.m. I got a bunch of them. Um, I've come a little bit for full circle. Sometimes I used to think that the birthday thing was a little bit annoying, but um, I mean, Facebook-wise. But now, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um, the bulk of the people that I do, that I am Facebook friends with, I actually do like. So it's kind of nice to hear from them. And, you know, especially the ones that you haven't really talked to in a while. So, um, you know, whatever. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's I, I, Zuckerberg, I don't know. The happy birthday thing, it's a little overboard, I guess, sometimes, but pretty cool. So thank you guys for reaching out. Of course, today... Uh, I, I woke up, um, you know, it just seems like any normal day to me, 45 years old, um, man, I'm halfway through, right? Halfway through. But uh, it's funny. So I think when I turned 40, I would say I was halfway through, but now I'm 45 and I'm thinking, all right, now, I'm, no, no, now I'm halfway through. Then again, when I was 40, I weighed 280 pounds. So maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I earned an extra five years. Maybe I earned those extra Really, I guess it would be 10 years, right? If I'm, if I, if I was halfway through then and that would be 80. And if I'm halfway through now, that'd be 90. So that's 10 years. So who knows? Maybe I'll just use that halfway through thing for the rest of my life. Uh, anyway, <laughs> me, <laughs> assuming it's long. Anyway, the only difference to me today, I feel the only thing that's going to be different is that, uh, whenever I jump on the treadmill, it always asks me for a, my weight and be my age. So that number 44 I've been plugging in for the last year, it will now increase by one and go to 45. I'm assuming that data is used for some kind of calorie calculation, which is excellent because I need to I need to burn more calories. So uh, apparently today I will probably be burning a little more calories than yesterday because I've turned 45, at least according to my treadmill. Uh, otherwise, it's just asking me for my I don't know. It's just asking me for my age. There's got to be a reason, right? Maybe it's going to send me a cake or something. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. It just feels like any normal day, you know? Got my Dunkin' coffee. So Dunkin's been doing this thing where they give out these plastic cups. So I went down there today and, uh, and you know, you know Stephanie. Stephanie likes to uh, save the world one one styrofoam cup at a time. So she's loving the fact that I have this plastic cup. It also, it uh, gives me coffee for $1.89, which is cheaper. So anything to save, you know, a couple pennies here and there, I guess. Um, so I went down there today and they were saying how how they were thankful that every day I bring the cup in that I wash it and that you wouldn't believe the kind of condition that some people bring their plastic cup in, like dirty, disgusting, and they can't wash it for you because it's like cross contamination kind of thing, and uh, and man, what's wrong with you people? And I'm like, you know, all right, maybe if you're driving around and you're using this to fill, you know, and you're just driving around drinking coffee all day, and and you you need a little extra, so you pull in. I mean, you're not going to use the Dunkin' bathroom, right? You're not going to use the Dunkin' bathroom to to clean your cup. Um, so maybe you just kind of ha- hope that they just pour it over the the old coffee. Yeah, almost like a refill situation. I can kind of get that. But if you're like waiting like two or three days and then you bring in a dirty mug and you either A, assume they clean it or B, want them to just pour it over like two day old coffee. Like that's pretty gross. Pretty gross people. Like, but am I, are we really surprised? Are we really surprised that some people do that? I don't think so. I don't think so. My, my expectations of human behavior over the years has just dropped significantly. Uh, I don't, <laughs> very cynical and, uh, and I don't know, negative, I guess, when it comes to that stuff. Um, just guys, just wash, wash your cups, wash your plastic cup before you bring it back for coffee. My God, my God. Um, 
Training. Let's go back to training. So listen, look at look at the weight. Now listen, we started this the other day. 131 days until Lake Placid. 219.6. Uh, you know, sun. This is so. This is Tuesday. Sunday I was 223.8. Now, do I believe that I've lost four pounds in two days? No. And this is what I was talking about. This is one of the reasons why I weigh myself every day. I think that 223.8 was probably artificially high. And I think that 219.6 is probably a little artificially low. Um, uh, you know, yesterday's training, you know, I had I did one hour and 45 minutes on the bike. I, I was trying out my new seat. And, uh, you know, I, maybe I'll try to put a picture on the podcast, on the video podcast for you. It's, uh, you know, it's a split nose saddle. I, I always say seat and then all the cyclists get upset. Because it's not a seat, it's a saddle. Apparently, we ride, we ride horses. It's a seat, but it's a saddle. We can call it either one. Just don't get mad at me for saying seat. Jesus. Um, so yeah, I installed the new the new saddle, and uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going crazy in the morning. Um, guys, it's six a.m. Uh, uh, baby had me up late. Stefan, uh, whatever. It's just this is this is my life now. Um, and I did it on my own. Now, in order, now I spent a, a lot of money getting my bike professionally fit. So, yeah, the notion that I was just taking off a big piece of that and then putting something new there um, without any kind of, you know, measuring, adjusting, just slight, you know, just kind of doing it by eye. And especially when I don't really, I'm not really like a handy person. So I don't really, you know, I just not. Uh, internally in you know in my brain that's not the kind of person I am I, I couldn't you know I could barely hammer a nail <laughs> but uh you know what I mean um yeah so I, I installed the seat it was fine Sa- sorry saddle <laughs> I installed the saddle it was fine uh, I, I got on the bike it, it definitely felt like I was a little bit higher in in the saddle <laughs> and my legs felt like they were a little overextended uh, it also felt like I was pushing harder at the same power output. So there was something there. Maybe it was just, uh, maybe my legs were overextended uh, and it was kind of losing power and it forced me to kind of feel, feel like I was doing more work than I normally do. Um, I don't know. That could be it. It could be, the, I'm sure, I'm sure it's the fit. I'm sure that that's what it is. Uh, the saddle was... You know what? It was, let's just say I swapped out the pain that I was, you know, that I was experiencing before for like a new pain. Now, the thing is you have to give it a couple weeks. You can't just like, you know, you can't just like hop on the new saddle and expect everything to be perfect on day one. Uh, It was a different type of pain, like in a different area that I was experiencing, kind of like a, a pressure at a different area on my sit bones, which is supposedly what you're supposed to be sitting on. Uh, you know, so it kind of felt different, which is to say maybe that pain is easily, more easily manageable than the pain I was experiencing the day before, you know, the days before, weeks before, year before. Uh, so I'm going to go with it and I'm going to try, I'm going to give it a couple weeks, see what it's like. And, uh, and hopefully, hopefully it's the answer. I don't know for sure. Uh, it could, it might not be, it might, it might not be, but uh, the important thing here is try this thing out, give it a fair shake. I'm going to have to make a little bit of an adjustment today and kind of bring the saddle down and maybe a little bit back. Uh, again, you know, I don't have the, the computer set up for like a, a pro getting a pro fit, which is a little frustrating now since I spent so much money to get it fit for me. And now like, I feel like I've just moved things around and all that money has gone to waste. But, uh, you know, I'm going to mess around with it on my own. You know what? Maybe it's good for me to learn sort of the ins and outs of the bike and um, and how things work and how things get adjusted. It just help, helps your own knowledge of, of how things work, I guess, you know? So I'm going to go with that, that theory, that theory of thinking. And uh, anyway, I got an hour and 45 minutes done. Like I said, it felt a little bit harder than I, I was expecting it to. But, uh, you know, it did get done. And I, I you know... Because it felt harder and more difficult, there was often times during that ride where I just wanted to say, all right, you know what? Uh, this isn't working. I couldn't get my cadence up to where I normally, where it normally is. And, uh, 
you know, I, I, there were a couple of times I just was like, you know, this isn't working. Just get off and refix your, you know, fix your saddle and adjust it and try it a different way. But I powered through it and I'm happy that I did. And, and I even, I added a mile run. I said, remember I said I was going to do a brick, added a mile run to it. So all in all, it took about an hour and 55 minutes. Happy I did it. Really happy I did it. And, and I finished it. The, the one thing I didn't do yesterday was I was going to do a lifting session. And after, you know, morning was busy. I, I got my bike ride in somewhere around, I don't know, like 1130 to, to 130, that kind of area. Um, and our, our babysitter for Ellie had to leave around three. So I took over. I, I basically didn't really have a chance to lift. Um, I mean, you know, I think Ellie's teething. She's almost four months old. Uh, I don't see teeth coming in yet, but she's starting to drool a lot. And for you parents out there, you know that that's a big sign that teething is, you know, probably on its way. Even though I don't see it, she's definitely, you know, chewing on she's chewing on her thumb and uh, anything, you know, any her, her toys. It's just like that kind of thing where it's just starting to look like maybe the teething is beginning, and uh, and certainly her her attitude. She seems a lot of front, you know, a lot of. Well, there's a lot of fussiness going on. A lot of fussiness. She takes after her mom, I guess. It's either that or she's teething. So, oh, sorry, Steph. Sorry. I didn't mean that. That was kind of mean. Um, but yeah, we certainly missed Stephanie yesterday. Uh, it was just a busy day here dealing with fussy baby. But I did get, you know, I got the bulk of my workout in. Didn't get my, uh, didn't get my weight training in. So we're going to push that off to today. And I think I'm going to be able to fit that in. So today's workout uh, is like, I think it's like an hour and a half bike. I, I got to double check it. It's like an hour and a half bike. Um, my, my intent was to do a bike and a swim today. But my intent was also that I had I would have lifted yesterday. So we're going to adjust it a little bit. We're going to try to do, the bike is going to get done tonight. My legs need a little bit more rest, I think. They just, they really feel tight. And I think it's because of like that whole saddle change yesterday. Uh, but we're going to do, so we're going to kind of put that off to the end. We're going to do the bike goes tonight. Um, Stephanie took me out for dinner, by the way, on Saturday with Sam and Ellie. It was really awesome. We had a great time. So we're not, no real reason to celebrate my birthday tonight. It's kind of like, you know how we're going to celebrate? Uh, actually I'll tell you how we are, we are buying a GoPro. That's my birthday gift from Steph, uh, a GoPro five black, which is the newer model, I think. Uh, I, I'm going to actually, you know what we'll do is we'll put the Amazon link to it on um, on the webpage, OrdinaryMarathoner.com. Uh, just something new that I've been trying. So last week I plug, put something up there, um, you know, the Gatorade Endurance, the bottles of Gatorade Endurance that I bought for my bike uh, because that's what they hand out at Lake Placid. Really hard to find in stores. You're really never going to, you know, you can find the powder, but you can never find the bottles. And really... You know, my, my experience after Phoenix, uh, that the race that should not be named, um, was that I felt like I wanted to get the actual stuff that's on the course. Like I want, I don't want to trust myself with the mix. I don't want to trust myself, um, you know, just mixing things and, and putting in bottles and all that stuff. Uh, I'd rather just buy the actual product that's on the course. So, you know, I bought a bunch of cases of Gatorade Endurance. If you, you know, sift through the homepage, uh, I call it useful stuff. Uh, and we're going to start that. We're actually going to start putting up some links to useful stuff. Uh, and I'm, again, not product reviews. So don't start sending me a whole bunch of stuff because I, I'm off the product reviews. I'm just, I'm not doing it. Um, unless I'm just going to use stuff that I use, you know, if I use it and I find it helpful, um, I'll throw up a link. I'll throw up a link on the uh, on the useful useful stuff. That's what we're going to call it, part of the website. Uh, so yeah, the GoPro we're going to put on there. I'm uh, going to order it later today. Hopefully it'll be in by the weekend. I got a lot. I want to do a bike ride on Sunday. It would be good to test it. I'm really excited to kind of get out there and, and test it and uh, and start filming some stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, back to today's workout. Lifting. I think we're going to do. I think we're going to do the swim first. Executive decision. I'm going to do the swim first and then the afternoon when uh when Ellie takes her nap I'm going to do the lifting which needs to be done and then um I'm still waiting to kind of mix in yoga it's got to be done that's got to be done too but we're going to mix in yoga so maybe I I think today's probably not the day to do that it's just a little too much stuff between the swim the lift and then the bike so I think that's that's the day swim lift bike 
that's the day. That's what we're going to do today. And, and, you know, my schedule, you see, you see how this works, guys. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I can't, why it's really difficult for me to have a coach is because I expected to lift yesterday. Didn't happen. Um, didn't happen because I just, there was just no way to fit it in. I mean, unless I would have gotten off the treadmill and Jesus, you should, I was disgusting. There was no way I was going to be able to lift right after getting off, uh, finishing the bike and the treadmill. There's just no way. There's just no way. So, um, that's why, you know, why I can't have a coach is because I, w- I have to make it up today and I want to make it up today. So it just, everything gets moved around and it gets moved around timing wise um, at, at a split second, you know, who my, my expectation yesterday was that Ellie was going to be calm. Maybe I would even bring her into the gym and I would lift while she just kind of lays there and does baby things. I don't know. Um, that didn't happen. So now on the fly, I have to make an adjustment. And that's why like, look, it's not the kind of thing, like I'm not going to call a coach and say, Hey, I, I got to change things. And that's, I think that's one of my, one of my downfalls from last year was, uh, you know, it's certainly not the coach's fault. It's my fault. It's just, I, I couldn't, you know, I, my schedule is too f- fluid and I got to be on top of it on my own. And, you know, it's kind of good in a way, I, you know, it's kind of good in a way that you learn how to, how to, I guess, I was going to say motivate, but that's not the word. I guess discipline yourself to get all that stuff done and, uh, and not have to rely on somebody else, somebody else to tell you to get it done. And then if you miss something, you miss it, you scratch it and you don't ever make it up. You know, that's, uh, sort of a detriment, I guess. That's just, I just, I don't know. I feel like I was like the Antonio Brown, just totally uncoachable. <laughs> You know, totally uncoachable. That's terrible. Um, so yeah, that's you know that's that's yesterday. So today I got a busy day on my birthday. Busy day today. I'm also supposed to go get my passport, which I have to do. Otherwise, I will not be racing in Canada. That will be terrible. That's a lot of money to waste, um, and a lot of fun to miss out on. I don't want to do that. Got to get my passport. That's on the list today. All right. So that's the list. So passport, swim, lift, bike. Happy birthday, me. Guys, hope you guys have a good day. Hope you have a great day. Um, Get those workouts in, you know. You see how I'm doing it. I'm like on the fly thinking of how to arrange my day. Probably shouldn't be doing it that way. Probably should have more of a clear picture in advance. But, you know, like I said, the schedule is a schedule. And things things get a little crazy. Things get a little hectic. You got to make changes. Uh, It's the discipline, though, that gets these things done. Uh, You know, and not just kind of being absent-minded and saying, ah, I didn't do it yesterday, whatever, put it off, forget it. We'll just move on. Um, I don't know. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. So hope you guys get your stuff done today. <clears throat> today, uh, Enjoy the day. Looking forward to all you got. Everyone posted on my Facebook wall today. Happy Facebook wall. Uh, happy birthday day to me. And um, hey, remember, every day is an ordinary day. It takes you to make it extraordinary. So get after it, guys. Remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel.